Hello believers, in this video we know how to earn 5 to 10 million coins from your dudek and reach a 95 rating in just 2 weeks in FC Mobile. Furthermore, all these topics are covered throughout this video. 1. Trying to reach a 95 rating overall rating in just 2 weeks. 2. Applying trick on best packs to get 95 to 97 rating players. 3. How to utilize dudek cards to earn 5 to 10 million coins profit. So, believers welcome back to the episode 15 of the 0 to 100 OVR as F2P series where our aim is to reach 100 OVR as free to play users. Before we move, make sure you have subscribed to the channel as once we reach our milestone, this account will be gifted to one of you, my subscribers. Now, let's move to point number one trying to reach a 95 rating overall rating in just two weeks. First, I would like to start things with the daily grinding. First, let's go to the Centurions event, and I already completed watching ads, playing the training and matches missions and claiming some traits points. So let's open some rewards for getting Zico. I can open only one pack, so let's open one by one. Enough, it gets ingrained in my head, and I start to see. I have completed opening all the packs three times and not whenever I claim them for two more times, I can get three free versions of Zico. In the road to growth also, I already watched ads and completed the training mission to claim 200 growth points. So let's open a growth pack. I am opening two packs at once with 200 growth packs. Alright nice bro, I got a dudek card. You know what I use to get one to two dudek? Daily from the Centurions event. So, don't miss the Centurions grinding. Here we go. Free 86 rating Lom and let's claim him. His stats are decent to be honest. Now, in the Fine Centurions chapter, I am gonna play one versus attack match and head to head match to claim 100 progress points. I have completed both of the matches. Now, let's claim the scout points. For completing laps four times here, I have free 88 to 97 rating pack for free and yesterday I forgot to claim. So, let's claim it and see what we can pack from it. No animation, bro. 89 rating grimes. Let's go for the first dice try. This is 50 gems, ha ha ha. Now the second try and I got six in the dice. It's 91 rating center defensive midfielder. I have got him a lot of times. Now another try. It's 2x fodder. Again, it's 10x fodder. Let's go more, but I don't have any tokens remaining. Now let me exchange the 100 scout points from the exchange. Let's try again. It's only 50 gems, bro. This is my last try, and what? Only 10k coins. Now I want to claim a daily mission. Some gems and pass points. If I open one store pack, I can complete this mission. Let's open a free store pack. And here we go. I can claim it. Again, watching ads, I can claim this. I have watched ads. Here we go, standard pack for free. Let's claim it. All right, it's Dudek, bro. Literally, I have gotten a lot of Dudek in the past few days. Completing 15 challenge matches, I can get 100 more scout points, and let's complete three more challenges. This weekend challenge is perfect for it, so I have completed all the weekend challenge matches. And first, let's claim the reward of the weekend challenge. It's an icon walkout with the Belgium flag, center back. He is company, and there is also another 88 rating Fabian Ruiz. Around 2 million profit. I am surely selling them, but unfortunately both of them with the Vitinha I got yesterday in the weekend challenge reward have excessive sales. So, it's very difficult to sell them, and... Actually, I am going to do a 1 million coin exchange. Both company and Fabian Ruiz prices are to the minimum 1.1 million. So it's just a waste of time to sell them as I will get only 1 million in case I sell. And remember there is 999 plus sell on both of them, so that's the reason I exchanged. Recently I didn't find any exchange for the 89 rating player like Vitina, so I am keeping him in the inventory. When the time comes I will be utilizing him. Now let's claim the 100 scout points from the Centurion Quest and try the dice game. We can do only two tries and this is our first try for now. Alright, I am getting 91 rating CDM again let's claim. They are giving a lot of 91 and 92 rating players from this dice game. The last try and it's only 2x fodder. 
What bro, I got Dudek again from this pack. Now let's move to point number two. Applying trick on best packs to get 95 to 97 rating players. I know you might be wondering why I am not upgrading my squad to 95 rating, but wait. First I must open packs to upgrade, otherwise I can't buy players from the market directly for upgrading the squad in the beginning phase. So, I am going to open the two most worthy packs ever in FC Mobile. You know well, I have got some 88 and 89 rating Centurions from the dice game, and I am utilizing that untradeable players in this 87 to 97 rating exchange pack. So don't think like you will buy 88 or 89 players from the market, because I know well you will be looted by EA, so, if you have enough materials then, you can try this pack. Now before opening the pack, I want to apply some of the most hyped and rumored tricks in the FC Mobile community before opening the pack. The first one is, making your squad below 70 overall rating. So recently you can see I am in 94 overall rating. I just started this account 15 days ago, and remember this is the 15th episode. To be honest, I have done grinding in this account for only 9 to 10 days only, and I am already in 94 rating. Out of 15 episodes, around 10 episodes I have talked about how we can grind things and utilize the rewards perfectly, and 5 episodes are with just investment tips and guides for new events. So actually I played this account for 10 days and missed 5 days due to some personal work. Now, 4 more days are remaining to be 2 weeks, and it's not a difficult thing for me to reach 95 OVR in 2 weeks. Anyway, here we go. I have made my team's overall rating below 70. Now, I am ready to open the pack and let's try the pack. Ha ha ha, EA showed me the most hated walkout. Anyway, it's 2x90 rating players. I am going for another try. Actually, that was yesterday night's pack opening. Now today, I am using the same trick in opening pack. Let's open the pack. It's Toady Walkout France. Left wing from Paris and 95 rating Mbappe, bro. This is a win pack, to be honest. I don't know whether that trick works or not, but I shared this trick a month ago from my main account and got a lot of good walkouts. It doesn't always work. But I can say that if you are always getting bad luck then, obviously you can try something different to make pack opening fun and entertaining. To be honest, there is no such trick which always works and gives a good walkout. I especially found that this trick is effective in 87 to 97 exchange packs. Let's train Mbappe. Bro, still I am not up to the 95 rating, but I think if I change my center midfielder with Zico and RB with Lam, I will get 95 rating for sure. It might take someone to two. More days. Remember one more thing. Suppose I got Mbappe right now. So most of us have a habit like giving more tries after getting something good, but it's a very bad habit. In the second try, you will not get anything good in 99% of the cases. The main thing is, for now I don't have 88 plus Centurion players to fulfill the condition of this exchange, and what people do is go to the market to search for 88 Centurions and try to perform an exchange. So just look at this 88 rating Centurions are above 3 million value, and if you try to exchange packs 3 times then, you will surely lose around 9 million, and that's how your growth will stop, and coins will be consumed. So don't be much more excited and hungry for the packs, because at the end, EA will surely give you 87 to 90 rating untradeable which are literally useless. And with that strategy, I am saving my coins for the next investment. Also, another mistake beginners usually make is, there are requirements of 88 plus Centurions players, right? So they buy 88 rating Centurions and you will literally lose 3 million plus coins easily. Just see the value of 89 and 90 rating. They are around 2.5 million. You can use 89 and 90 rating in the condition. So avoid this kind of easy mistake. Loss in one pack is no thing, but loss in many packs is too much. Like if you buy 20 x 90 rating Centurions in 2.4 million, then it's going to cost 48 million where buying 20 x 88 rating Centurion in 3 million will cost you 60 million. That's a straight 12 million loss and think you are doing 20 x 87 to 97 exchange in 4 to 5 weeks. That's around 60 million loss. So buying players from the market to do untradeable exchange is a totally useless strategy, and that's the main reason you can never grow your coins. Anyway, I am going to rank up Mbappe as I am thinking of doing rank push and giving gameplay tips as per feedback I got from your comments in the last few videos. Let's rank up Mbappe and I am hoping I will get a 95 rating overall. Rating. I am giving skill points to Mbappe. See he has good finishing shooting and long shot so I really don't have to use skill points in his shooting. For the passing, it seems like he needs skill points being a left wing player. Talking about his dexterity, he is already having good acceleration, and I really don't need to increase his dexterity. Wing run is important in wingers but passing too, and I am going to give skill points to passing as I am seeing weakness in the passing. So here we go. Now I can still train him to increase all of his abilities. So let's do it. I 
I have trained him to level 10 and here we go. Mbappe looks great. Now let's claim some gems and rewards as I want to open a 91 to 95 UCL exchange pack which is a very effective pack. I have got the night version of the stadium from the Star Pass. And let's apply this stadium as I always forget if I procrastinate. Ha ha ha. Clicking on this I button you can find information of the stadium whether it's day, night, dusky or freezy stadium. Now I want to open the UCL pack but literally I just need around 2 gems. It's not 2k my bro, I just need 2 gems. Do you know today I did a lot of grinding just to open the UCL pack? I watched 100 gems ads, I even claimed gems from the Icon Evolution chapter, opened the gems pack of these heroes and did much more. Now, I didn't get any option to claim 2 gems. Ha ha ha. Finally after 2000 years later. I remember that there is also a daily what? challenge which can give us 100 gems. I played it and got 100 gems. Now let's see what we can pack. All right, cool animation, Morocco, center attacking midfielder from real and he is 91 rating Brahim bro. EA literally trolled me. They gave me a minimum valued player but also I am fine. Now you can see that I was having 4x untradeable Brahim. I am thinking of buying the one more Brahim and rank up him to sell at a higher price. But the issue is, I am unsure who is going to win the next quarter final match between Man City and Real. I am deciding on next Wednesday when their match will be complete. Now let's move to point number 3. How to utilize Dudek cards to earn 5 to 10 million coins profit. First, make sure you have watched this video on how to sell universal rank up players if you are a beginner, as it might be difficult for you to understand or grab things easily. So 10 days ago I published a video on how to utilize or sell do deck cards to earn millions of profits. The main tips in that video was buying the players. Of the month POTM players like Dovbik and ranking him up to rank up level 2 to get around 10 million profit. But in yesterday's videos, some of you were saying you are not able to buy the Dovbik card. See I also tested this method and I was buying 5 Dovbik. I held it for 5 days and tested whether the method was working or not. But what happened is that it's extremely hard to buy this card and needs a lot more patience. I am not sure how many days it will take you to buy this card but I am sure it's still possible to buy him as some of my subscribers were claiming that they actually sniped him and got profit. Before 10 days the second rank up Dovbik was having good demand even in the second rank up version but now sales have already started. That means you can still understand that people are still buying him with a full patience level and they are literally giving supply by ranking up Dudek. Each and every rank up version has supply but the supply is very minimal. That's the reason it might take 10 to 20 days to purchase him. We can't see supply in the first and second rank up versions as whenever people sell there is excessive demand and that supply will automatically become a purchase immediately. So you can't see the supply of this card. Now you might ask me, is there any solution or any other good players which are much more easy to purchase? To be honest, you will not get exactly 10 million profit per due deck in other cards, but it's possible to get around 3 to 5 million profit. Don't worry, you don't need 10 to 20 days of patience with those cards. Point 1. Snipe newly launched 80 to 89 rating cards. On Thursday you can find out a lot of 80 plus rating cards that E will launch, and mostly those new cards can give you good profit like 2 to 5 million. You can snipe those cards when the game refreshes in the morning, and once you buy them, you can see how much profit they are giving by ranking up Dudek. To be honest, you will find 80 plus rating cards rarely, which can give you high profit, but make sure to observe when EA launches new 80 to 89 rating cards. Point 2. Snipe, newly launched, 80 to 89 player of the month cards. They are very rare cards and supply is very less on them. So make sure you make a bid on them when EA launches the new player of the month card. So as of now I only find these two ways of utilizing Dudek and there is no other trick working to get profit. In case if I get good cards next Thursday then, I will try to publish it. So yeah my believers bros that's it for today's episode and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more amazing episodes. I will meet you with the next one. Till then your lovely host Mr. Believer signing out.